Hey hi friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss about firebase now in any app uh, if you see any production app two things are very mandatory one is your analytics and one is, is your crash analytics okay now again uh, in the last video we uh, saw that how we can use different environment dev qa and prod so similarly when we are dealing with the firebase we will try to have three different firebase let's say that when you are developing your application that time that particular log should not go into your production uh, database right it, it makes no sense let's say that when you are developing the application and your app is crashing why it should go in your uh, production uh, firebase account so that it might create some sort of confusion and the same thing goes for the qa so we'll see that uh, you how will we can use the firebase but we can use this firebase for different environments okay now as we have three different environments so many of you might have used firebase that we uh, create an account and then it gives a p list for you so as we have three different target and three different bundle identifier so basically uh, in other terms i can say that we have three different projects right so what we can do we can come here and here we can create a project so let me call this project as uh, bhagavad gita right B H A G A Bhagavad Gita. Okay. And uh, let me continue it. And by default, it's enabled. Select an account. I'll create this account. Then create the project. So it will create just the project for you. Okay. Now inside one project, you can have multiple apps. It's not like that one project can have just one app. So for this particular example, this project in my case is going to have three different app one for your dev one for your qa and one for your pro okay. so let it uh, continue it so it's almost done okay so now it's ready to use let's click on continue and then you comes to this dashboard okay now here uh, you have multiple things like you can add for ios you can add for android then wave unity flutter all these options are there so we are building for ios i will click here okay then here you have to give your uh bundle identifier now we have three bundle identifier right uh, if you go here and then if i click on bundle identifier see you have three so let me just copy the first one that is the dev i can call it as uh, dev then register it okay so once you register it what will happen that it will download uh, a playlist for you okay so let me just download it and then let's go to the next like what is the next step for you so your next step is telling that you can uh, install through swift package manager you also have option with c cocoa pod you can download it and then add it manually as we are using swift package manager so let's install it through the same way so i'll come here and then go to package dependencies plus and add the dependency of firebase sdk okay and make sure that you always select the meso version up to next meso version and then you click on add package so it will start fetching uh, the firebase uh, repo meanwhile let's go and create the uh, next uh, project okay so i'll just click on next and uh, this code we can see again in the next time so continue to console okay now the project is created for me so let me do one thing see ios dev let me create one more app and this is also ios okay okay so you can see that uh, firebase actually contains lot of dependency we don't need uh, all at this point of time i just need analytics so let's check this and i need one more thing that is cas analytics like you have firebase database and firebase function lot of things are there messaging so just two are checked and click on add package and it will start installing that thing for you okay so now uh, let me copy the next bundle identifier and let me create a project for this so this is basically my qa then register the app and then download the playlist okay and then again next 
and next next and continue so now i have two apps dev and qa let me add uh, one more so this time it will be the prod so let me copy this go here and let me call it as prod then register and download so now i have three uh, google uh, service info.plist okay and based on what target i'm running i need to select that particular playlist right because that contains the information regarding the bundle identifier and all those ids that firebase created for you now you can see here that firebase created and it also downloaded some other dependencies for you as well now let me uh, first uh, create a uh, folder with all those playlists that I have just downloaded. I created a folder Firebase inside the project directory, and then I have three folder Dev, Prod, QA, and I have put the playlist uh, which was I downloaded for Dev, which I downloaded for Prod, and which I downloaded for QA. And all the name has to be same. You don't need to have uh, three different uh, playlists with diff miss three different uh, names. We just have the same name. Now here there is a trick that uh, when you build your uh, Xcode project, uh, if you have two files with the same name and both added to the target, same target, the Xcode will, will start comparing for uh, duplicate files. So when you add this project, let's say that uh, what I, I'll do here, basically I'll right click here and then uh, add files. Where is that? Yeah, add files. So here, when you click on this Firebase, you don't need to add uh, this to the target. And so, so now you can see that the Firebase got added and uh, it has all these three uh, folder inside it. And when I'm running it also, it's not compelling uh, me about uh, any duplicate file because I have not added any of the files to the target. So you can, you can see that these files, this files and this files this all are not added to target okay and you can check here that uh, this bundle identifier is div this bundle identifier is qa and this is prod so all are three different uh p list for you okay now uh, if i go to the firebase uh, documentation the which we left after the installation what we have to do we have to import firebase into our app delegate right so if you see that uh, we don't have uh, app delegate right so we have to create this app delegate here so let me create this app delegate class here so right click new file and uh, call it as app delegate because in swift ui by default you don't get uh, app delegate so let me create and add it to target and here you can just paste the same thing okay now you have to import here firebase import firebase okay and the next line what you need to do is that you need to tell your swift ui view that you this is your app delegate class again that code is very simple you need to just copy this line and put it into your root view so let's say that in this case this is my root view so here I can put that particular piece of code. Okay. Now, Firebase has one uh, good thing that once you use this Firebase app dot configure and uh, if this p list are not properly loaded, then Firebase if the p list is not at all lo loaded, Firebase will crash. And if this p list is not matching with the bundle IDs that you are trying to load, let's say that uh, if I am trying to run my dev environment and somehow i'm referring to my production uh, plist which contains a bundle id as com.test.bhagavadgita.prod then the firebase will give you error message so when you are building it you are kind of assuming that what you are doing is correct okay so this time i'm expecting a crash because out of this three plists none of this plist is added into my target okay so now when the firebase will try to configure it will throw you uh, crash saying that uh, 
say somewhere that it could not find the uh, valid google service info dot plist okay so that means we are going good that uh, uh, this firebase is properly imported but this plist is not uh, readable i'll show you one more thing now, now let's say that uh, what environment we are running we are running dev and uh, if i uh, select uh, dev let's say that i add this to target now by default uh, dev is there in my target now this time i will not get any crash and i will not get any error message as well so let me run it again and this time i'm expecting that it should work fine so see there is no error message no crash also okay now let me do one more thing here let me click it remove it from the target and let me add this qa to the target okay but i am still running dev so this time the firebase will throw you error message telling that your bundle ids that you are trying to run and the google info pillars that is trying to be load both are not matching and you can see here the error message that this playlist or the bundle id in the option if you are using a customized option to ensure that everything can be configured correctly you may need to make the bundle id is consistent that because the dev is dot dev and the playlist that you are providing is dot qa now we cannot do this uh, uncheck and check because we want everything to be uh, like automated based on which target we are uh, selecting right so if we are selecting qa then this qa should be load if you are selecting prod then prod and then dev then dev right now for that we have to write a script to tell my uh, code that uh, when we are running dev then which particular plist to pick up okay so let me go to uh, build phases and here let me create a new run script phase okay and let me call it as uh, firebase we are using lot of uh, run script so you may get better idea that how actually we write run script in this particular video so let me open uh, my uh, uh, code uh, here because i i use always scripting in visual studio code because there we can properly um, visualize the steps okay now let's try to understand this uh, uh, script this is very straightforward if you see here the first line it says that uh, the, it's the name of the resource we are selectively copying and what we are copying we are copying google service info dot plist the same thing you can see uh, it here that we are copying this playlist okay now here if you see uh, we are creating three path one for dev one for prod one for qa again nothing is specific with the name we can give any name uh, what you want this there's, uh, there's no uh, relationship between anything related to configuration or target with this name just like i have three target i have taken three uh, uh, name here dev prod and qa you can even give a small capital letters this doesn't matter now if you see the path it's project directory wherever uh, you are running it then a target name target name is nothing but my uh, this app name this folder name and then you have firebase inside that i created this firebase folder and then inside that if you see your we have three part that is prod qa and dev and that's the reason i have prod dev and qa this should uh, match exactly like right? if it, the folder name what is you have kept there the same thing should be here and uh, there then we are trying to refer what we are trying to refer this google service info playlist and this is nothing but the name what you have defined and that's what we have the same uh, info playlist name here if you have different name let's say that if you want to be more uh, extra specific that you want to have google service uh, hyphen prod hyphen info or something like that then you can have different naming like you can define three name here one for prod one for dev one for uh, your uh, qa and then you can have three different uh, variables here okay that all depends on how you want to configure it it's the this script is very much straightforward now if you see this three one this three are the same thing uh if you just look at one you will understand that now what we are trying to do we are trying to look uh this for this google service info playlist in this particular uh, uh path okay that if it is present or not so that way it's check for all the playlist one by one for for the dev and prod and then for the qa if it is not then it will just exit it it will not go further beyond it 
just you can uh, consider it, it like your guard statement and then you have your playlist destination where you want to have actually your uh, playlist like and th this is inside your directory product name uh, dot app like uh, each app will have uh, your uh, playlist once uh, you wrap it like let's like that for example when I uh, wrap this uh, particular uh, Bhagavad Gita it, it should contain either of this one playlist right because that will be linked with your firebase if I run prod it will be prod or if I run it QA it will be QA but one has to be there and then see based on the configuration if it is debug prod it will take the prod one if it is uh, and then it will see it will copy that path uh, the the path of this prod to this uh, particular playlist path that we had, it is going to be wrapped like if you I'll show you that if you see the package content of the app that is getting formed you, we can find this playlist there and then it's the same for if it is QA take the QA one and the else case we have dev okay now uh, let's uh, copy this script and let's go here we already have this firebase so let's uh, paste it here okay now for just double cross check I'll just check that I have not added to any of the targets not added not added here also not added here also okay now first I'm running prod and it should not throw me any error regarding uh, crash also and regarding error that uh, the bundle identifier is not matching me so if this script is working fine then it should uh, take the proper uh, prod playlist and then run my firebase according to that okay so it's running it and last time if you remember when we uh, put the wrong path it gave that error and you can see that there's no error right now that means it's taking the proper playlist now again you can ask from the list that is there any other way you can check it yes we can check it so for that what we need to do we need to go to the derived data so let me go to derived data here and bring it here and if you go inside uh, this build let me go to this one and then you have build products uh, this is we run it for product prod right so prod and this is the app which is getting formed and if you go to so package content so here basically you have this playlist and it should contain you can see that it's containing prod okay now let's check one more time so let me change this prod to let's say QA uh, I'm not checking for day because that that's in the else condition so if any of these two fails it will always hold uh, dev so if my prod in QA is working that means dev will all also work so let it build one time so one verification it will be that it will not throw error here and the second we will again check this uh, product that is getting formed right so you can see here that there is no error regarding the firebase and uh, let us check uh, in the builds here so if you go to here and do so package content then this should show me the QA one and see this is working perfectly fine so even if you run your dev build it will work perfectly so that's all for today's video hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, watching it uh, in my next video we'll see that how we can use this firebase to actually trigger the analytics and uh, we'll also see some manual classes and how we can check the report on the firebase dashboard uh, yeah that's all if you have not subscribed the channel then please do subscribe if you're really watching this videos thanks for watching thank you